Hello and welcome to program 30 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com, and I will be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. And uh, also, if you're looking at this directly on YouTube, then you can find out more information at markplex.com. Just click on the programs, you'll see all the programs that we have available. Program 30 is... Uh, towards the end of the list. So program 30 is very similar to programs 27 and 28 in its functionality but in this case we're looking for divergence between price and the true strength index. And what I'm also going to do with this program is include a user guide in the form of a PDF which will explain the functioning of the program and uh, also how you would go about applying it to radar screen charts and the scanner. So let me uh, just briefly explain what or how the program works and essentially what we're doing is looking for situations where the price makes a lower low and uh, we're looking for pivots here and the TSI makes a higher low and uh, if, that if that is the case we would intimate that there is a bullish divergence. Now the way the program works is each time a new price or TSI pivot or are found the program looks to see if there is a paired pivot. So for example if it finds a low pivot in the TSI it looks to see if there's a low pivot in price within a certain user tolerance number of bars. If there is it considers them a pair and it stores them in a two-dimensional array. What it also then does is compares that pair with other pairs of matched pivots already stored in the array. And if any of those appear that there is a divergence, then it will draw the line on the chart. And what the program does, it just recycles through this array to make sure that it is only of a certain size at any one point. It does the same for top pivots. If you want more information about this, you can also look at the videos at uh, program 27 and 28, and uh, I explain it. I explain this methodology there. The other thing I'm going to do with this program is include a another video if you uh, decide to to buy the program that explains how you would go about to modify it to use another uh, oscillator or anything really that you want to compare with price to see if there is potential divergence. So that will be available if you uh, if you buy this program. So let me just quickly uh, go through the inputs. So we're going to go format, analysis techniques, program 30, explain these. So max array size, it can be a maximum up to five and this is essentially the size or it is the size of this two-dimensional array in terms of how many uh, elements it has. What it means, say if you had three, it would mean that each time you find a new pivot pair, then we're comparing that with two other pivot pairs stored in the array to see if we have uh, divergence. Price L and price H, these are the, uh, the prices that we're using to determine price L low pivots and price H uh, high pivots. Price is the price that we're using in our TSI calculation. And I've also incidentally at uh, markplex.com included a, a little excerpt showing the formula that I've used to create TSI. Then we've got this input called which TSI. And this is because we've actually got three TSIs included here. We've got the, uh, the TSI, a smooth TSI, which is basically an exponential moving average of the, uh, the TSI, and uh, also the difference between the two. And you can choose either one, two, or three to determine which of those you use. Also, incidentally, the program plots the TSI, as you probably noticed. Depending on which one we choose, the program will make that bolder on the chart. So, for example, if we just go back to the chart for a moment, you'll see that uh, in this case, the smoothed version of the TSI is being made a little bolder and uh, that is drawn with the, uh, the thicker white line. So TSI period 1, 2 and 3, these are inputs into the uh, TSI calculation and again that calculation is shown at markplex.com. Uh, lower color green, upper color red, these determine the colors of the lines which indicate divergence on the chart. Uh, line size, this indicates the 
thickness of those lines so for example if we were to make that one and go back to the chart you'll see that those lines are now drawn a little more thin then left strength and right strength this is determining how many bars for example for a low pivot if the left strength is three it means that we have to have three bars uh, where the lower of those bars is greater than lower of the pivot bar and similarly with right strength if right strength is two then we would have to have uh, two bars to the right of the pivot uh, where the low of the bars to the right of the pivot are higher than the low of the pivot bar that's for low pivots and uh, of course the uh, reverse for high pivots and then finally bar tolerance this is the number that determines how far apart the price and the TSI pivot can be for them to be considered a pair and uh, they have to be uh, under this value under bar toll to be considered a pair so in this particular case they have to be within uh, two bars of each other to be considered uh, a pair a price and TSI pivot pair anyway uh, as I say this program is available for download at markplex.com and uh, you will get if you're interested a bonus PDF which includes uh, full information about the program and an explanation of how it works and also how to apply it to charts and to the scanner and I'm also including a bonus video which explains how to go about modifying the program to use a different oscillator in the calculation. Anyway I hope you might find this useful. Thank you.